So how do you automate beneath the GUI by using the API? And if your application has a REST API and you're automating in Java, one of the first libraries you're probably going to investigate is REST Assured. And in this video, we're going to look at REST Assured with some sample code so that after this video, you can experiment and try it out fast and easily. Hi, I'm Alan Richardson, and this is Evil Tester Videos, where we have videos which help you improve your software testing. So if you're serious about learning software testing and improving your work, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you receive email notifications. Now, in this video series, we're going through the GitHub project library examples, github.com slash evil tester slash library examples. This has example code for a bunch of different libraries that you can use when you're automating applications using Java. We're going to cover WebDriver, JSON, REST Assured, JSOUP, Hamcrest, and Cucumber JVM. And in this video, we're looking at REST Assured. REST Assured is a REST API library abstraction layer. Basically, it makes HTTP requests but it has extra functionality on top for asserting on the return values, for making it a little bit easier, making it a little bit more REST-like to make it simple to use REST API. Now, the site that we are testing is the Star Wars API site, which has a nice GUI for making HTTP requests. But underneath here, we can also use it as a direct API. If I make a request of format JSON on the back, I just receive a JSON response back. This isn't particularly human readable, but that's good when we're automating it because the API abstraction library that we use will be able to parse this for us and will be able to make it easy for us to understand and automate. If we were doing it interactively through the GUI, we'd want to use this version, which lets us explore with different verbs and different formats but when we are hitting it as an API itself, we want to get just the JSON back. So that's what we're going to look at in here. Now, when we're testing a REST API, it's not just automating. We also want to test it. So we might want to use curl or we might want to use a REST client like Postman. And I have other videos on this YouTube channel covering that. And I also have a book called Automating and Testing a REST API, which is a case study of using a variety of tools, including REST Assured, for automating a particular application. And it's a case study, so it has real examples that all work using the tracks application that you can download. And if you're interested in that, you can go off to compendiumdev.co.uk slash page slash tracks rest API book. Should be a link on screen now. Also, you can find all the code for that book if you just self start and want to study the code and how we automated it. You can look at github.com slash evil tester slash tracks rest case study. Again, the link is on the screen. But what we're really interested in in this video is the rest assured library. Rest assured, you can find all the documentation on GitHub, github.com slash rest hyphen assured slash rest hyphen assured. You can find rest assured on there. And this has pretty good documentation. My code in the code looks a little bit different to this, but yeah, you, know, you can follow the code here and find it easily. So let's jump off to the code. So if you've downloaded the code from GitHub, brought it into your IDE, you will find a rest assured package with an example test. And you can see how simple this is. This is an example test using rest assured. I'm using static access to the rest assured methods because that seems to be the easiest way for me to reliably get rest assured working. Slightly different from the examples that you see in their code, but this is how I tend to use it. It's nice and easy to bring in. So what we're doing here, we're saying make a get request on this URL, then assert that the body has a name which is equal to Luke Skywalker. So this is actually parsing the returned values. So let's have a quick look here. This is what we did before we made because anything we made this request already. If it's a get request, we can issue that get request through the browser. Automating a REST API also requires us to use post and put requests for creating and amending data, delete for deleting data. But the Star Wars API only deals with get requests. So you could in theory use it through a browser, but it's a nice easy one to practice on because the only real difference between a get request and the other ones is that the uh, post and put requests have bodies. 
describe the amendments or additions you want to make. Delete, you just hit a delete. So when you learn how to do get, it's a very simple matter to move on. And then there are other APIs that you can look at. And there are a lot of APIs to practice on when you get the hang of it, but the Star Wars API is nice and easy to start with because it's just a get request. So this would bring this back and in the body, check that the name is Luke Skywalker. So it's a very simple parsing. In fact, what we should do is check that these tests actually still run. So I'm just gonna run these. Okay, so all these tests run successfully. So how do I bring rest assured into the project? Well, because we're using Java and we're using Maven, if I go into the POM file, I should see in here that we have a rest assured dependency. And how did I know that was what I was supposed to add? Well, on the rest assured website, there's a documentation page. Go down here, click on the getting started page. Getting started tells me this is what I have to add into Maven. And it, current version is 3.0.3. .3. Current version here is 3.0.3, .3, so we're up to date. So there are other ways of parsing the return value. This is a very simple way. We can also use the JSON path. JSON path is a library that's included in Rest Assured. The Rest Assured people wrote it. But you can also use this in your project separately if you like the use of JSON path and just want to parse JSON. So this test issues a request for person number two, which we can see up here, which brings back C3PO. We, in the response, get the body, which is all the stuff here as a string, which we print out to the console, which you can see there. So that is the string that's come back. Then what I'm doing is I'm creating a JSON path object to parse this. Then with JSON path, I can then get strings and I can get any part of this. So I could get the height, I could get the mass. So it's just a slightly different way of doing it than in the body. And this is how I tend to use rest assured, to be honest. I use rest assured to make a request. When I get the request back or the response back, then I will parse it independently and use it that way. It gives me a little bit of separation between the API and the assertions. And I prefer that level of control. So another way that we can use rest assured, and I'm going through this very quickly just to give you a very high level overview of rest assured because all the documentation is in there and you can play with this code. So here I am issuing a request, same one as before for person number two. I'm getting the body back. I'm using JSON to parse it, but I'm parsing it into an object. So here's the class that I'm bringing back and it is gonna go through and it is gonna pull back the name and the mass. That is what's gonna be in person. So you can see that even though all this other stuff is returned in the request, I'm ignoring that because I just want to deal with this. This is a great way to really narrow in on specific parts of a message and in a particular application or test to just hone in on a little area without distracting yourself from the whole message. So I very often do this, but what it demonstrates is that the JSON path parsing is powerful enough to deserialize into objects or to have a kind of X path style access to the message contents. But all of this is documented on Rest Assured itself. And it's worth going through that. Also, if you're interested in Rest Assured, you can have a look at the code that we've got on GitHub for library examples. And if you want to test REST APIs a lot, have a read of my book, Automating and Testing a REST API, which shows you how to do it from scratch. And it's focused on the testing, not just the automating. And if you're more interested in the automating with REST Assured, have a look at the code in my case study, github.com slash evotester slash tracks REST case study. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe if you're interested in videos like this and leave a comment because I'd love to know what you thought of this video and what libraries you would like me to cover so that you can use them as part of your automating when you're working with Java. Thank you very much.